hello student today we are going to discuss about uh, one important topic that is income from house property in lecture number 4 in lecture number 1 we discuss some important meaning under income from house property that is income of house property for uh, for the purpose of income tax act some certain conditions should be fulfilled for income from house property that conditions similarly the meaning of uh let out house property when to be let out house property and self occupied house property so this is all uh, we all already discussed in lecture number 1 then in lecture number 2 we are uh, discuss on various steps are using under income from house property up to net annual value in lecture number 2 in case of let out house property did not be let out or let out house property and self occupied house property in lecture number 3 we uh, discussed on uh, various uh, deduction allowed under section 24 uh, for uh, let out house property did not be let out house property and self occupied house property okay so today in four lecture we are discuss on one uh, important problem on let out house property so this is problem for uh, today's lecture compute the income from house property from the following particulars relating to mr raj for the assessment year 2022 uh, 23 so municipal valuation is given fair rent is given standard rent is given so from all these uh, three valuation we are able to calculate expected rent okay so comparing these three figures then annual rent is given in this problem when annual rent is given uh, so it is help to decide uh, what type of uh, what nature of house property is there if annual rent is given so just relax and uh, confirm this is the let out house property if let out house property is uh, not there uh, then annual rent is not given in the problem if annual rent is given in the problem uh, just uh, directly uh, you know confirm that this is the uh, this is the let out house property in uh, similarly annualized rent is given in the problem which is used for step number 3 uh, then period of vacancy is also given so loss due to vacancy is also present in the problem in step number 4 then uh, rent rates and taxes is given so we already uh, we already discussed that there are certain expenditure which are incurred on the house property like depreciation insurance rent rates uh, ground rent etc salary of watchman or uh, certain uh, person which are appointed to maintain the house property but only one expenditure is allowed for income from house property under uh, under income tax act that is municipal taxes municipal taxes and uh, it is also given in the problem then interest on borrowed capital is also given in the problem here loan was taken after first april 1999 so uh, this date is also mentioned in the problem if uh, loan wa uh, loan was taken before first april 1999 so in case of uh, uh, self occupied house property we only Taken to be thirty thousand instead of rupees two uh, uh, lakhs. Okay, uh, for reduction under section twenty four uh, for interest on borrowed capital. Okay, so now this is our trading computation of income from house property. of mr raj for the assessment year 2022-23 okay particulars
amount. This is the let out house property. Why it is let out? Because uh, uh, annual rent is given in the problem. That means uh, rent issued from that particular house property. That means such house property is let out to the tenant. Okay. Uh, if uh, this is not uh, given on uh, rent, annual rent is not appear in the problem. Uh, even unrealized rent is, uh, is not also uh, present in the problem. Rate of vacancy is also not uh, uh, given in the problem. Okay. Uh, okay. For general knowledge, if period of vacancy is given in the problem for 12 months, what is the nature of house property? That means whole year house is vacant. That means it is not let out. It may be self-occupied house property if there is only one house property, or maybe it is it will be let out house property if that assess have more than two houses. Then uh, maybe we considered this house property for him to be let out house property. If that owner have only one house or a maximum two houses, ultimately this house become self-occupied house property. If period of vacancy is given in the problem for 12 months. That means all year. Then annual rent is not given in the problem. Not given in the problem. Okay. So these are the some interesting fact for calculating income from house property. So uh, for calculating the step number first is expected rent, expected rent, expected rent. And how to calculate expected rent is very simple. Yes, municipal valuation or fair rent, whichever is higher, but subject to maximum, subject to maximum standard rent, standard rent. Okay, so this is the formula for calculating expected rent. Expected rent is the rent expected from that particular house property. So, What is the municipal valuation? 3,60,000. Just put the figure uh, in front of that particular valuation. Fair rent is 3,70,000. Then standard rent, 3,50,000. Okay. What is formula? Municipal valuation of fair rent, whichever is higher, 3,60,000 or 3,70,000. Whichever is higher, 3,70,000. 3,60,000. Then compare the 3,70,000 with 3,60,000 and check out whether uh, that particular figure cross the limit of standard rent. And yes, in this case, uh, that figure cross the limit of standard rent and that's why standard rent is the expected rent. 3,60,000 the Kilan <laughs> आणि मग वडिलांपेक्षा मोठा भाऊ कधीच मोठा असू शकत नाही आणि त्यावेळेस वडिलांना आपण स्थान द्यायचं म्हणजे स्टँडर्ड रेंट घ्यायचं जर तो मोठा व्हायला लागला तर आणि तो जर वडिलांपेक्षा लहान असेल म्हणजे 350000 पेक्षा छोटा असेल तर मग त्या ठिकाणी त्याला आपण त्याचे रिस्पेक्ट द्यायचा आणि ते घ्यायचं ओके सो दिस इज द वन आयडिया टू रिमेंबर दी हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट एक्सपेक्टेड रेंट सो Tinlaksat, Tinlaksatar, Tinlaksatar Motor Dala, and Tinlaksatar, which comparison of Tinlakanashikila, Tinlakanaspecha, Tinlaksatar Motor, Hala Lagle, 
menggunakan masker. Sekitar tiga. Now step number two. What is step number two? Step number two is the rent received or receivable. Rent received or receivable. How it is calculated? Annual rent minus unrealized rent. Okay. Less. Rent. Underlies rent. So what is annual rent? And the rent is given in the problem that is four lakh eighty thousand. For like eighty thousand. Less underlying. How many underlying rent is going to be problem? It is forty thousand. So for like eighty thousand minus forty thousand. For like. Forty thousand for that. Forty thousand is the rent received or receivable. Okay, rent received or receivable is it is for like forty thousand. Now step number three. Kai ke lapan step number two madhe annual rent madhun underlying rent less ke la. चार लाख ऐसी मधुन चाइस हजार वादा के लिए चार लाख चाइस हजार रेंट इस दौरान सी बढ़ा ले। फिर स्टेप नंबर वन में अपन एक्सपेक्टेड रेंट कैलकुलेट किया। स्टेप नंबर टू में रेंट इस दौरान रिसीवल कैलकुलेट किया। अब स्टेप नंबर थ्री। स्टेप नंबर थ्री में अपन क्या करते हैं? पहले दोन स्टेप से कंपैरिजन Which ever is higher, which ever is higher, with the end of the measure, you have an arm here. Step number one, or step number second, which ever is higher. Ma, three lakh fifty thousand and four lakh forty thousand. Step number one, kai cha three lakh panna. And step number uh, second, kai four lakh chahi sadar. Which ever is higher. That means step number first is expected rent or rent received or receivable, which ever is higher. Expected rent is rupees three lakh fifty thousand and rent receivable. Or received is rupees four lakh forty thousand. So whichever is higher, four lakh forty thousand. Four lakh forty thousand. This is the step number third. And now step number four. Step number four is loss. Due to vacancy, less loss due to vacancy from step number three. Step number three, and in this problem, period of vacancy is given one month. Now we need to calculate one month rent. Okay, because one month uh, that particular house is vacant. This is the twelve month rent for like eighty thousand. Just divide the four lakh eighty thousand by twelve months. Four lakh eighty thousand divided by twelve months. Four lakh twenty 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 thousand divided by twel
तो कैलक्युलेट कर कैलक्युलेट कर कैलक्युलेटर वार लाख ऐसी हजार बाकी बारह एक महीन से ही चालीस हजार चालीस हजार अपन इतन का बेस करते आहो चालीस हजार माइनस करता ओके इथे जे ए लॉस डो टू वैकन्सी लेस के स्टेप नंबर थर्ड मधुन फोर जे एथो अपन क्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू क्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू फ्रॉम स्टेप नंबर थ्री लॉस डू टू वैकन्सी रिपीड एंड रेस्ट अमाउंट इज कॉल्ड द क्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू फोर लैक फोर्टी थाउजंड माइनस माइनस लॉस डू टू वैकन्सी सो फोर लैक इज द ग्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू नाउ फ्रॉम ग्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू वी नीड टू डिडक्ट और लेस मुनिसिपल मुनिसिपल टैक्सेस मुनिसिपल टैक्सेस इज आल्सो गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रुपीस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड ओके एंड फ्रॉम ग्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू आफ्टर द डिडक्टिंग मुनिसिपल टैक्सेस फ्रॉम ग्रॉस एन्युअल वैल्यू द रेस्ट अमाउंट इज कॉल्ड द नेट एन्युअल नेट एन्युअल वैल्यू नेट एन्युअल वैल्यू ओके एंड 4 लाख माइनस 15000 3 लाख 85000 3 लाख 85000 इज द Is the net annual value. Now we move forward to deductions. Less deductions under section under section twenty four. And the first deduction is standard deduction. Okay, in income from salary, there is deduction under section sixteen. And there is also standard deduction under section 16, over which 50,000 flat. And in case of income from house property, the deduction, the uh, standard deduction is also applicable under section 24. But the valuation of that, that deduction is 30% of NAV net annual value. Net annual value chart is taken calculate by the tax. आणि मग बघा किती येत तीन लाख पंच्याऐंशी हजाराच्या तीन लाख पंच्याऐंशी हजाराच्या तीस टक्के कॅल्क्युलेट करा मग किती येते अमाऊंट थ्री लॅक एटी फाय थाउजंड डिवायडेड बाय सॉरी मल्टिपल बाय थर्टी पर्सेंट वन लॅक फिफ्टीन थाउजंड फाईव्ह हंड्रेड वन लॅक फिफ्टीन थाउजंड फाईव्ह हंड्रेड ओके इज दी Amount of thirty percent of rupees three lakh eighty five thousand. Now second deduction is interest on borrowed capital or capital for construction. Okay, interest on borrowed capital. Borrowed capital, and it is mentioned the construction is after one first April nineteen ninety nine, and uh, amount is uh, amount given of rupees one lakh ninety thousand, and uh, this is the letter of house property, so there is no limit. But even in case of self occupied house property, the limit is up to rupees two lakh, and it is the uh, amount which is less than two lakh. Uh, so. If this problem is uh, related with the self-occupied house property, uh, in this case also, which is one lakh ninety thousand, that is whole amount is the deduct from the deduct under section uh, under section twenty four. This self-occupied house property has to be one lakh no worth. Meal at the time, so limit two lakh is. And among it, meal is one lakh no worth. 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 With the rent, rates, and taxes, right? 
पण आपण ऑलरेडी डिस्कस केलं की ते आपण घेत नाही डिप्रिसिएशन घेत नाही बाकीचे खर्च घेत नाही फक्त म्युन्सिपल टॅक्स आपल्याला घेता येतो प्रॉब्लेम मध्ये मुद्दाम होऊन दोन तीन प्रकारचे एक्सपेंडिचर दिलेले असतात ओके सर्टन टाईप ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर इज गिव्हन इन दी प्रॉब्लेम इंटेन्शनली बट इट इज नॉट कन्सिडर बाय कॅल्क्युलेटिंग इनकम फ्रॉम हाऊस प्रॉपर्टी सो जस्ट डिडक्ट दी डिडक्शन फ्रॉम नेट अँड व्हॅल्यू थ्री लॅक एटी फाय थाउजंड मायनस थ्री लॅक एटी फाय थाउजंड मायनस वन लॅक फिफ्टीन थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड मायनस वन लॅक नाईन्टी थाउजंड वन लॅक नाईन्टी थाउजंड सो रेस्ट अमाऊंट Is rupees seventy nine thousand seventy nine thousand five hundred. So this is the income from house property. Income from house property. House property. Okay. House property. Okay. I hope. you got the idea how to calculate income from house property in case of let out house property okay bye see you again in lecture number 5